Two people are dead and three more wounded after a shooting in Central City last night. And sadly, it's not the first time there's been gun violence in that neighborhood. Sam Woodstrom has more. So this is another mass shooting in fucking New Orleans. God damn. And it was just chaos. You just hear people screaming, yelling, and crying. That's all you hear. Lionel Oliver woke up to the sound of gunshots Thursday night. It's not like an automatic weapon. It was just constant barrage of bullets. Two people were killed and three more wounded outside of his central city home. Sadly, it's not the first time Oliver's heard gunshots outside his front door. The gun violence is crazy, man. He has shots all the time. Like I was just telling him four months ago, a bullet came through the house. They shot up all, literally all these houses. On that same corner, the New Hope Baptist Church was holding choir practice when the shooting happened. And uh, thank God they, they, most of them got out uh, before uh, the incident occurred. Reverend Jamal Weathersby says that the recent violence has been like a goddamn Muppet or some shit. Look like Bert. Or Doesn't he look like one of them um, um, characters off of um, like um, Sesame Street or some shit? He like looked like he's a grocer on Sesame Street. Mm. Yeah, incident I occurred. saw a Twitter Reverend post now. They're getting low profile switches that are only about an eighth of an inch thick that that, that don't really change the profile of gun very much so they don't stand out oh wow yeah, you can get ones yeah they that are have flat. Those, yeah you can get they have those that for, are flat yeah and they mostly have those for the uh for the glocks and you can 3d yeah. print those all those all of them they're illegal but they effectively will turn a handgun into a machine gun yeah wow the first one i saw overseas was a was a flat profile one and it was just it was constant full auto it wasn't selectable cool wow and Jamal Weathersby says that the recent violence has people afraid to go to the grocery store, drive on the interstate, and even go to church. But while some people see his neighborhood and even the city of New Orleans as a lost cause, he draws his strength from hope. Hope that he finds in his faith and in the community around him. We don't do it alone. We need the police. We need the, uh, the council. Well, we need the court system, the criminal justice system uh, to all work together. Because at the end of the day, we're all working towards the same goal. This needs to stop at some point. It damn sure needs to stop at some point. An end to the violence in New Orleans. Sam Winstrom, Eyewitness News. A Memphis man is out on bond after police say he went on a wild rampage because his pizza order was wrong. 41-year-old Richard Johnson is charged <laughs> with assault and vandalism. Police say back in... Glad November, he ordered a pizza from one. Domino's on Summer Avenue, and when he picked it up, he claimed it wasn't right. When an employee told them he couldn't return it, but could order again, Johnson allegedly threw the pizza, and the two got into a fight. He left, but two hours later, Johnson was seen slashing tires in front of the Domino's restaurant, causing more than $1,300 in damages. A Powder Springs mom is in big trouble with the law after leading deputies on a chase down Interstate 85 with a son man kids. would have been airing it out. In the back he seat. aired That's the tires Doug out. Evans reports. <laughs> Powder Springs mom is in big trouble with the law after leading deputies on a chase down Interstate 85 with five kids unbuckled in the back seat. As Fox 5's Doug Evans reports now, that chase hit speeds of more than 120 miles an hour in the pouring rain. Oh. In the rain, 120 miles per hour, running from the cops in the rain with five kids unbu unbuckled in the backseat. Unbelievable. The pouring rain, dark window tent, and the low profile of the Dodge Charger. Deputies say they could tell that someone was Context in the back clues. seat of the car that they just pulled <laughs> over. They say they just couldn't tell that it was kids, five kids, and none of them wearing a seatbelt. Coweta County deputies say they pulled over this Dodge Charger for driving in the rain without headlights. And you can see in the video it was pouring. They say Gloris Hairston is 30 years old from Powder Spring. Ooh, they look so rough. Oh my god. Damn. Is that a sister or a son man? That could be dude. from Philly. From Name that. Denson, that's a guy. Name yeah, the that guy on the right. I think the guy on the, yeah, the, I think the son man is on the right, and then uh this rough chick right here on the left. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mossy, name that rap group. I was I was gonna say that Tremaine like a he like a, a, a greater value project pet. Yeah, this is this is a rough, rough, rough looking group, man. Jesus Christ, man.
in the video, it was pouring. They say Gloris Hairston is 30 years old from Powder Springs. Dang. Deputies say her driver's 30? license has been suspended six times, and it wasn't valid that day either. <laughs> they say the passenger, Tremaine Denson, is 25 from Union City. They say he actually owned the Dodge Charger. He was wanted for probation so violation for aggravated assault in Fulton County, and Los Angeles police wanted him for a firearms charge and warned that he might be dangerous to law enforcement. The deputy who pulled over the Charger says he could not see who was in the back seat. What he could see, he says, was Hairston's hand on the gear shift. Here's what happened next. Coweta deputies say in the chase that followed, Hairston's speed topped 120 miles an hour. And then this. They said the video shows her hit another SUV and not stop. The deputy says he tried to pin her in, but the charger tried to push him into oncoming traffic. Eventually, a deputy performs oh a pit maneuver God. on the charger, and it spins out of control. They say the video shows Tremaine Denson make a run for oh. it, but he would be tackled by a deputy and arrested. Hairston, they say, surrendered. Here's the shocking discovery. Wedged into the small back seat of the charger, deputies say they found five children, Hairston's children, ages 4, 5, 9, 11, and 12. None of them buckled, they say. Deputy say Gloris Hairston, the mom, is facing serious felony uh. charges. Aggravated assault, hit and run, fleeing and attempting to elude, child safety seat violations, child cruelty, as well as drug charges. The passenger, Tremaine Denson, is also facing drug and weapon charges, as well as the charges that he was wanted for out of Fulton County and Los Angeles. The children, they were unhurt and were turned over to a relative in Coweta County. Doug Evans, Fox 5. Unbelievable, man. Why not yeah. charge attempted murder of a police officer? Yeah, the and children. <clears throat> yeah, the complete the complete disregard for the kids is, right. is just something is unbelievable. Um, yeah. I'm surprised child services didn't take them, but if it's a relative, that's that's a better outcome. But my goodness. They it's should depend on the relative. Yeah, you're right. Uh, but definitely, I think they definitely need to go to jail. There's a term for people like this. Um, uh, Dr. Frances Cress Wilson phrased it, and she said, life unbecoming of life. When you're an adult and you're putting children at risk like that, you don't even deserve to live. You just don't. Yeah, those so that that 120 miles in the rain, running from the cops, it's crazy ass son, man, boyfriend. None of the kids are his. Ridiculous. Life. And I'm, I'm sorry. Life. After five suspensions, you should probably get your license taken away for permanently. Ever. Yeah, permanently. Yeah, you're right. I'm I'm surprised it was not was it wasn't just simply revoked. You know, like you know. Permanently suspended six times, and you still get the 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 privilege of driving. It's uh, that's a little suspect. Well, yeah. five children's lives. You just said, "Eff it." Yeah, over. Oh, just and, and people are going to be bitching because there was kids in the car, and the cop did a pit maneuver. Yeah, the cop didn't they, know they, that. that. That's the and that's they, what the focus is going to be. They could have killed them babies. They could have right. killed that, them babies. Right. That's what the focus is going to be. Not the the bastards who pulled off and did over a hundred miles an hour in the rain. Yeah, but even what about the first time where they hit the other car? They oh hit yeah. The car. yeah. What about that? Even that yeah. is is crazy. Yeah, it's just it's just unbelievable. Like when you see this stuff, you think you've seen it all. Right. Like I did a story a couple of, about like a week ago about a DUI. I thought it was the worst DUI case I'd ever seen. A sister who was um with her friend, and she she killed she did she she crashed and killed her friend's daughter, and got out the car and ran. Yeah, they ran. Yeah, it, it, I thought that was the worst DUI case I'd ever seen. Some people. I mean, look, they, they're good at this shit. They, well, and they, the daughter was injured. Them. If she couldn't help, she could have possibly been saved. Right. She she died from her injuries. It's just, oh, God. 
Um, and on that note, man, I'm out of here, man. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Make sure you hit the PayPal cash app super chat on the way out. Peace out. All right, y'all peace. have a good night. Good night uh, peace, 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 peace. I was literally waiting hey, all P. night for the proper proper time to drop that bar, those bars up.